Okay, so this was one of my more favorite problems on the test. I really enjoyed kind of the mechanisms as they developed in the problem. Let's get a look at it. The 2022 AMC 10A problem 19, let L sub N denote the least common multiple of the numbers one to N and let H be the unique positive integer such that the sum of all of these with the denominators one to 17, unit fractions, if you will, uh, h is equal to h over the least common multiple of the numbers one to 17. What is the remainder when h is divided by 17? So uh, the idea here would be just start playing around with things. First off, we can find what l sub 17 is pretty easily, again, the rule for it is for the least you want the greatest and for the greatest you want the least. And what that means is for the least common multiple, I want the greatest power of everything that I can possibly take. That means the greatest power of two and one to 17, which is 16, you will take two to the fourth. Similarly, the greatest power of three you can take is three squared. There's no 27 at your disposal. After that, it's all primes, five, seven, 11, 13 and 17. That will be what this is. Okay, well, how am I gonna make these have that as their denominator? I've got a one here. I guess I'd have to multiply by L17 over L17. And I'm gonna get, you know, this, basically it's, I'm gonna write it like that. Let me get easier. When I get to the two, uh, I would have to multiply this by everything but one of those twos. So now I would have two to the third times three squared times five times seven times 11 times 13 times 17, but down here would be L17. Now I don't wanna keep doing this. I just wanna get a feel for what's going on. Let's go and look at the other end at that one over 17 it would have the 17, I would have to multiply it by two to the fourth times three squared times five times seven times 11 times 13. Okay, so now let's think about what's happening. All of these denominators, this would now be the denominator L17. And now that they're all gonna be the same, H is essentially the sum of all the numerators. And I wanna know what the sum of all those numerators is, uh, well, actually what the remainder is when it's divided by 17. Well, is this number divisible by 17? Yeah. Is this one? Yeah. Wait, are they all of them? Wait, all of them except for this one. This is the only one that had a 17 in the denominator, which is why it doesn't need a 17 in the numerator. So basically everything going this way is 17 times something, we don't care what, and it's gonna mod out, if you know modular arithmetic, to zero, you're basically gonna have just this number here. So I've got 16 times nine times five times seven times 11 times 13. We need to take this and mod it out to find the remainder when this is divisit, divided by 17. And that's our answer. So 16 is one less than a multiple of 17. So we call this modding out. Again, you can mod out each individual term if you want. Um, I'm gonna do whatever, I'm gonna just choose some. Uh, nine and seven is 63. Uh, that is five below 68. Right, 17 times four equals 68. So 63 is five below, you mark it as negative five. Let's do five and 11 is 55. And 55 would be four more than 51. So you can put a four and this one would be negative four. So we did, what about this five? We did five and 11, we did nine and seven, make sure we don't leave anything out. Okay, so you're gonna get five times negative 16. And maybe I'll make that negative one times 80. And uh, let's see, 80, we said 68 
If I added another 17 to get 85, 80 could represent negative 5. I am not going to break down for you all of modular arithmetic in this problem. Uh, essentially, 80, when you divide it by 17, you're going to get a remainder of 12. So we say it's congruent to 12 mod 17. Uh, if you want to learn how to do this kind of thing, you want to do the Intro to Number Theory book from The Art of Problem Solving. I should have a class for that book coming up in December. Email me or use my website to uh, ask inquiries about that. If you take this and subtract the mod, you would get that it's 12 is congruent to negative 5 mod 17. How does that work? This is 17 times 0 plus 12. This is 17 times negative 1 plus 12. Note that it still kind of has the same remainder of 12, but we can represent it with a negative sign, which is one of the things that modular arithmetic teaches us. Um, let's go ahead and do problem 20.